Greetings guys. Good morning from downtown Annapolis, Maryland and going to take a tour of the Paca House. signed up for the 1030 tour and going to kill some times walking around this museum here and the Carvel Hall Hotel was actually built on the property in 1901 the house was the lobby and the guest rooms were actually on top of the gardens <laughs> some steak and some crab knives and an embroidered handkerchief down here 1940s and a little stitching of historic Annapolis and some matches and soap here from the hotel and it was in use until 1965 and uh, an old salon chair going back to 1950 and uh, yeah I'm assuming a chair from the hotel And yeah, the history, a house was built 1763, of course, by William Paca. And uh, like I say, eventually in uh, 1901, 1965, it was the Carvel Hotel. And the Jennings family purchased it and moved in 1780. And just to let you know, William Paca, he was married twice, had three children uh, with his first wife. Uh, only one lived to adulthood, and his second wife died uh, shortly after they got married. She died really young. And a ceramic fragment going back to 1790. And there's a uh, reproduction plate from Williamsburg right above it. And this is a letter written by a guy named Henry Joseph Steer. He was a Belgian refugee who lived here at the house from 1797 until 1800. Mm. Mini ball from just before the Civil War and an Indian head sent, sent 1864. And this book here, Richard, written by Winston Churchill. And it's the inspiration for the name of the Carvel Hall Hotel. That's where they got the name. And yeah, the house was set to be de demolished, but uh, luckily the preservation group came in to save it. And then you have a drawing over here of Paca. And yeah, he was three-time Maryland governor, uh, attended both continental congresses. And here's a painting of him by Charles Peel. Charles Peel also from Annapolis. Yeah, I started up the Sons of Liberty with fellow Annapolis uh, native Samuel Chase. And this is a reproduction, but it's a receipt dated July 4th, 1776. And some shoe buckles, pretty fancy. A cufflink of a turtle. I think, no, that's not a turtle. <laughs> All right, walk into this room over here. In this room over here, it goes through the four signers of the Declaration of Independence that, that are from Maryland. But first over here, a timeline leading up and going through the revolution. Stops 1777 and the Declaration. 
over here it talks about a deleted portion of, of the declaration and uh yeah it uh it's condemning slavery to the british and uh yeah southerners have, have made thomas jefferson remove it oops and charles carroll of carrollton you can visit his house as well need to take a trip over there and his obituary he was the oldest living signer of the declaration of independence also the only catholic signer died 1832 and a seal a cider jug and over here samuel chase uh, his house is now a private residence And it's across the street from the Hammond Harwood house. And over here, Thomas Stone. He was a reluctant revolutionary. And here's that famous painting of the signing. This isn't what, how it actually looked, but. The Chase Family Bible. China platter. Lawsuits of England. Tour. No filming inside, but I, I was allowed to take pictures. And going to walk through the gardens. About two and a half acre English garden. You've got the Naval Academy back there. And back when the house was built, the river was a lot closer. Cut to the left over here. Oops. Uh, I normally have some roses right there. I'm sure it looks nice in the spring. Back of the house and yeah, there's a wedding going on later this afternoon got the tents out cut across I see some flowers over there Plants that nourish. Do not touch, some plants are toxic. 
and kind of a medical garden over here, it looks like. Bunch of hedges back here. I just disturbed all those birds. Yo. William Packer Holly. Bunch of hollies back here. Walk down, take a look at the summer house. The pond back here in the summer house. Table in there. Shot of the back of the house. William Paca. Lawyer of Annapolis. Okay, I'm gonna take a walk around the front of this thing. All right, so yeah, house designed by William Packer, Georgian style. And they call this five part Georgian, uh, meaning five parts, uh, one, the two hyphens in the, the two ends here. And pretty, me uh, pretty neat, you've got the stone, the brickwork on, on top of the stone. And about 10 slaves lived on the property. This wasn't a plantation, so they would have been house servants. And this looks really old. White Mulberry. The largest white mulberry in Anne Arundel County. Uh, planted most likely at 1820s, 1830s.
pretty cool looking buildings around here. Need to come back and take a tour of historic Annapolis. But uh, yeah, hop on 95, head south, say a prayer for me. It's Saturday. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, as always, like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and support me on Patreon. See you.